Hey guys, Nick here. I'm going to talk to you today about the patch that came for the PC players in Battlefield 4 today on November 14th. Uh, it came at about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so my time. I was asleep. Uh, hopefully you guys were too. Uh, basically, it was about a gigabyte to download, um, so just be aware of that if you have low hard drive space and you haven't downloaded it, lit downloaded it yet. Uh, be sure to have enough room for that. Uh, so basically, we'll just kind of get right into it. I'm just going to name off a few, you know, the ones that really catch my eye, and then we'll go from there. Um, so one of the most comical things that I think, this whole thing, uh, this whole patch was meant to do three things, and I'll actually bring it down for uh, what they actually said. They said that they're going to reduce the number of crashes, which is awesome. I know that everyone, including me, has had so many problems with crashing, uh, whether it's the server or whether it's the just the person in general. So, like, my computer would crash instead of the server. Uh, they're going to eliminate a network sync bug. Uh, so, basically, this is the one where when you got shot through walls and you think that someone's, like, wall hacking or just shooting through walls or just, you know, uh, not doing something right... This is what happened. I know I've been shot through, like, especially on the kill cam, when it goes back to the person who killed you, and they're completely on the other side of the building. Um, they're, they kind of explained that and fixed it, thank goodness. And then improved network smoothing. So all those of you who have... It, it's basically based about your latency uh, to the server. So if you have, if you have a low latency, uh, you can actually... You can actually go into your options and gameplay menu and inside of the game and then it'll be a network smoother uh, kind of tab and you just move it left or right depending on your latency. So the higher the latency, the more to the right you want to go. The lower the latency, the more to the left you want to go. Uh, so I tend to play on low latency servers just for myself. So I keep it actually at like 0%. That's just kind of me. Um, so if I ever were to go to a higher latency server, you just move it to the right. It'll just it'll kind of give you a little little more edge with those other low latency uh, people. Um, so the comical thing about this is at the top, it says that we are aware of the server crash issue and are working around and are working on a workaround to mitigate the issue. Sorry for the inconvenience. I just find that kind kind of comical because this whole thing's about you know. Uh, fixing the crashes and you know I understand they're doing you know their work I know nothing about you know all the stuff like about the codes and everything you know just I just found it funny um, so let's just get into this I'm just gonna name off a few uh, crashes and freezes basically fixed the crashes that would occur randomly uh, if you ever played rush they actually fixed where whenever you destroyed an object like an objective or a tank or anything uh, it won't crash you anymore. Uh, I've heard of a few instances where if someone exited a vehicle, the server would crash. <laughs> this happened, I've heard just like once it happened. It was the weirdest thing. Um, so, uh, that's just kind of funny, a weird bug. Um, uh, if you guys ever heard of the black screen of death, I don't know if it's just something around my group of friends that play or if it's just kind of known. Uh, that's when you... The crash would occur during level loading, so basically you just have a black screen, uh, just like you're loading a new uh, a new map, and you just never load, and you crash eventually. Um, another one is, which this is the same thing, common crash during map transition, what I just said. Um, in single player, sometimes you crash when you were killed by an enemy, like the AI. This happened to me once, and it was like one of the first. It was like the first mission, and I just, I, I, I stopped playing. I was, <laughs> I didn't understand why it crashed. Um, so I just need to, um, I need to finish the campaign now that they fixed that. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it, but I know I'm not gonna crash anymore. Uh, so on to, so those are the crashes and freezes they said that they were gonna fix, and. Uh, Sounds like they did, um, or they will. Um, network performance. So this is the one taking damage through walls. Uh, they basically just fixed it so when you're in the server, everyone's running on the same ground. So it's like it's not like someone's in there with a faster latency where they can 
see you longer or see you in a different way that someone on a slower latency wouldn't be able to. So like when I'd be behind a wall to them, I was just running still and I haven't crossed that wall yet. So that's what they fixed. That's awesome. Um, and then also they improve the network smoothing. So like I said before, you just move that uh, left or right, depending on how fast your internet is. And uh, they've improved it. I never really have used it, like I said before, that I use it on 0% because I stay on low latency servers. But try it out. I'll probably try it out and see, you know, how well it works. Um, so for gameplay balancing, they did a few things, you know, where they removed, you know, said remove Scott Hello Chopter for the Defenders in Rush Mode on the Siege of Shang Shanghai, where it just kind of gave a, a total advantage to the Defenders. I remember this map. Um, it's just, it wasn't even fair. The Scott Helicopter, if flown by a good pilot, the attackers would never get it. The attackers would never, ever, uh, be able to plant the bomb or, uh, 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 arm the objective. Um, another one is uh, on defuse. I've heard in a few YouTube videos where they would actually plant C4 in mines before the round ended. So they designate like a squad just to go plant C4 in mines. And then once the new round began, they'd still have those up so they can detonate them or have the people run over the mines and they die and kind of get free kills. They'd set them near the, uh, the points of interest and it's kind of like a free kill. Kind of cheap in my opinion, but at least it's fixed. Um, fix a few graphical things, uh, like this one I've noticed, uh, in obliteration. If you have the bomb, the enemy team will see you as a red light and a beeping sound if you're close. So basically what was happening, you would not show up on the radar with a red light des designated where you are. Like, that's the whole point of obliteration. There's no stealth in it. It's just, like, you need to move as fast as you can without dying. Uh, so basically what happened is, like I said, there would be no red light flashed and you couldn't hear a beeping sound. So it would be like you'd never find them until the bomb was planted. And the thing with obliteration, it's only like 10, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and the bomb detonates. So uh, so they fixed that. Um, uh, some of the miscellaneous things that they, you know, fix, you know, they fix the occasional jitter in the kill camera. I know that it'd just be like going back and forth or going like this. Um, they fixed, you know, a destruction issue on flood zone where the, uh, the levolution wouldn't happen. Uh, wouldn't happen. You'd have a thousand missiles fired at that, uh, that wall and it'd never come down. And then, uh, another one, I just saw it. Um, uh, oh, the bug where the rank up message, whenever you, uh, get the next rank, it would loop in the game. So I remember I got level 35 and it told me at least 10 times that I, that I leveled up. I thought, I, I didn't know that that was a bug. I thought that was kind of cool just because before sometimes I'd miss that I'd rank up because, you know, everything was going on. Like, uh, you know, I'd be so into the game and I'd be killing so many people that I would miss the rank up. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but I guess it was a bug and they fixed it. I'm <laughs> kind of sad, but I guess that makes sense. If they would reintroduce that, I would say maybe put like a, maybe make it maybe like two or three times, you know, instead of 10 times like it was. Um, so it's kind of a good one to fix. And that's about it. Uh, basically we are covered. Those were the three things. So they're going to reduce the number of crashes. They eliminated a network sync bug for, you know, the enemies through the walls and that the network smoothing for the latency issues. Um, that's awesome. Uh, tell me what you guys think, what they maybe should fix. Uh, I know that they need to fix a lot, a lot, a lot, uh, a lot still in the game i understand that but at least they're attempting and this crash uh, this crash and freeze thing that's a big one because i know that was completely just horrible so tell me what you guys think uh do you like it um do you hate it what else they should fix and yeah uh this is nick i'll see you in the next one guys